What's up guys, Coach Jesse Minch here. Today I got three secrets and three drills to help you easily add range to your shaft. Okay, the very first thing to getting more range in your shot more easily is to get your legs into it, and specifically your hips. Your hips is the most powerful area in your body as far as producing overall force for your entire body. So if you can get that involved into your shot, you can get a lot more range a lot more easily. Now, to get your legs and your hips into it, basically what you wanna do is focus on making sure you're dipping the hips back a little bit. So think about like you're about to sit into a chair, okay? And what that's gonna do is it's gonna bend your hips, so there's a little crease in your hips. It's gonna bend your knees a little bit and get a little bit of a bend in your ankle joint too. So all three of those joints can help produce some more power for that shot. Now a couple things to keep in mind with this. You don't have to overdo it. I've, I've heard a lot of coaches teach their players that they should really bend down super far. You don't really need to bend down that far. Watch Steph Curry and a lot of the best shooter, shooters in the NBA shoot and there's usually just a real little quick dip of the hips and, and the knees, okay? Some players have a little bit more than others and it just depends on what fits your style. An issue I see with a lot of players is either they get down too far or they take too long to come up from that crouch down position or I see some players that just stand more upright and shoot. And you're not gonna have very good range at all if that's the way you're shooting. Second secret to easily add range to your shot is to make sure you're jumping forward, okay? One simple thing you can do is work on shooting, you know, by a, the free throw line, three point line, whatever the case may be, and just focus on when you shoot, that when you land, your feet land in front of the line. I guarantee if you go out and try it after you watch this video, you're gonna notice a big difference in how easily you're, you're able to get that shot further. And basically, it comes down to, again, making sure you're getting your legs and your body momentum going towards the hoop. And that's gonna make it a lot easier to transfer more energy to, towards the hoop if everything's moving that way. A lot of players I see, they jump straight up and straight down or even slightly back on their shot. Try to make sure you're jumping slightly forward, okay? One other thing, don't try to lean into the shot with your torso. Just focus on jumping forward more with your feet, okay? So when you jump, you know, your shoulders are almost gonna kind of stay in one spot as your feet are coming forward. That'll produce momentum and power going towards the rim, but at the same time, kind of relax your shoulders back so you can get a good high arcing shot. And then the third tip is to keep the ball tight and compact. And what I mean by that is keep it kind of close to your body, okay? And what that's gonna do is, it's kind of how we talked like when you load up in the hips, right? You bend the hips back so that bends your knees and your ankle joints and your hip joints so you can produce power. Same thing with your arms, you keep the ball tight. Look what it does. My wrist is back, bent back so that can produce power. My elbow's bent, my shoulder's coming back a little so when I come up, everything can extend straight and produce extra power to the shot. Okay, so three drills to make sure you're putting all three of these elements into your shot. This first one is a little bit more unorthodox. Generally, I don't have players do all kinds of crazy stuff like this with their drills, um, but this can be helpful if, you, if you're noticing, you know, you know, have someone watch you or film yourself, and if you're not getting those hips back and down on the shot, this is a good drill for you, okay? So there's two ways you can do it. You can do it just from sitting down, coming up and shooting, and then once you get the feel for that, you know, like 10, 20 of those, then you can just go from standing up, butt to the chair, and then go up for the shot, just to get in the habit of loading the hips. Now, generally speaking, again, in your shot, you're not gonna wanna bring them back down this much. The reason you would wanna do this, though, is if you're in the habit of not doing this, this kind of exaggerates that motion, so it makes it easier for you to get in the habit of just getting that little bit of a hip load into the shot. So the next thing we're gonna do is called line jump shooting. And basically all you're gonna do is shoot a shot and try to land so you come in front of the line. If there, again, if there's not a line on that spot that you wanna use when you're trying to extend your range, that's fine. Just make sure your feet are landing forward. And the other thing is make sure your form stays as close to good form as possible. You don't wanna be, you know, oh, I'm jumping forward, but my form is nothing like I would ever use in an actual game situation because that's not gonna transfer into games. But that's pretty much it. Just put up 20 shots, making sure you have good form and that your feet are landing forward from a line. Okay, and then the third thing to help make sure you keep that ball tight and compact is what I call tummy touch shots. And it might sound kind of funny, but basically it's what it sounds like. You're gonna have the ball touch your tummy. You're just gonna tap your, not the middle of your stomach, but more on the side of, of your shooting hand side and go right up to your shot from there. Okay, just take 20 of these shots. So here, go up for the shot. So right, if you wanna get more buckets, make sure you click that like button for me so I know what to bring you guys more of. Also leave a comment down below, let me know what videos you wanna see more of and click that subscribe button and that little bell icon so you can get on that notification squad and catch those videos the second they come up. Now if you want a way to quickly boost your scoring average and your shooting percentage, click this link right here. That's a free workout. Head to that link, pop in your email, and I'll send that to you right away for free. It helped me boost my scoring average really fast. Also, make sure you check out this video. You'll probably like that one as well. And check out this playlist. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more, and get buckets today.